Hello friend, it's Mark out on the back 40. And today what we're gonna be doing is uh, I'm gonna do a little test. And what this test is, is to see if I can use a grain drill to drill in seed into a no-till soil instead of having to spend big money on a, uh, an official no-till drill. So what I'm doing here is this. First thing I did is last night I came out and you can see I mowed this, it's gonna be a shooting lane. I just mowed this. And right now I'm gonna spray some Roundup on it also. And so, and then in two weeks, I got a friend of mine coming out and he's bringing a nine or 10 foot wide old grain drill. And we're gonna see if we can plant seeds in here, no till. And if that works, then that's gonna allow me to go out and uh, hopefully you can figure out if you can do this too, is uh, go out and buy a very plentiful and very uh, affordable old grain drill to do no-till planting in all your food plots. Um, otherwise, if it doesn't work, I gotta figure out a way. I've tried broadcasting before and that doesn't work and I, I'll go through that more later. Um, but the big thing here is I just don't feel like spending 10 or $15,000 on an official no-till grain drill, especially if my soil is light enough that I can get away with it with just a traditional old grain drill. So here we go. So today's a pretty good day for Roundup, and the reason I say that is there's no wind. I mean, you can look at the, it's, it's noon on August 15th, and there's like barely a breeze going right now. So it's a great day to do a Roundup. It's also the sun's, there's a clouds, so the moisture will sit on the leaves a little bit longer, so they have more time to soak in the glyphosate. And uh, so how I, you know, I adjust the, the water spray on this, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, now I'm just killed that. <laughs> I'll go down. I don't want that one dead. It's it's a little more. It's not a fine mist. I don't like fine mist because that drifts, and it'll drift in the air and it'll drift all over everything I don't want. I do more of a droplet, and uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's more of a droplet. So you can adjust your sprayer so it's a little bit heavier droplet. You have more control that way on uh, what gets uh, sprayed and what doesn't. But I just sprayed this one twice. I sprayed down and I sprayed back. The one I did prior, I only sprayed one time. So we'll kind of see how the kill looks. <laughs> 